What's up, guys? Welcome to NFL Live Week 1. I'm going to be going through the players of light for FanDuel and, and show you the website, how it's, how it's looking for the um, NFL season. You click NFL Home. And, uh, this, and um, this is the weeks week one, week two. We want to see what's going to happen in week one, who's playing. These are the teams that are playing week one. Panthers versus Denver at 8.30, 1 p.m. game. And um, 4 p.m., 8.30, 7, and 10, whatever. You can see the time that the game starts and whatever. You click on any team you want. Let's say this. And I, I went through websites to look for the Vegas odds and things like that. And I just posted it here so you guys could look at it. They got Denver um, beating um, the Panthers 38 to 15. I mean, 23 to 15. And the total of that game is going to be 38.6, whatever. So you could look into that if you want. This is previous matchup. Week four, you can see it right here. This is on um, what the Panthers put up on Fanduel: 18 points, Cam Newton 16, whatever. This was um week four before the Denver team. What they put up last year against the Panthers. So some info you could work with. Um, some teams don't have a um, previous matchup because they never played before. Some teams played twice last year, so those are the previous matchups for. Let me see a team that hasn't played. See previous matchup. Whenever you see this, is because they didn't play a game last year, so I have no previous matchups. So you guys can look it up. So too bad. <laughs> All right, let's go to. Um, NFL percentage zone. This is not gonna. This is not gonna be up until Thursday game is over. So maybe around Friday, Saturday, you could look into the the percentage zone for week one. Let's go to NFL top position. This is my projection for week one quarterback. I think the best quarterback week one is gonna be Derek Carr. He's facing um. The warning that gives up the most fantasy points to quarterback. In, and um, let me see. This is a CSV file. You could download it and see the rest of the players. These are the top. Uh, let me see top five. Click here. This is how you download it. Shows up right here now. Open it up. This is a CSV file. You could enable editing, whatever. And um. This is the FanDuel points um, per game of what they did last year. Derek Carr put up 17 points. This is the, what the defense allowed to quarterback one. And this is the final projection that I got with this little formula I came up with to create my projections. You could go click, see alphabetical orders at quarterback. You can see the fantasy points per game that they put up last year by clicking this, sort it out, you know. The opponent they're facing with the defense allowed. New Orleans allowed 24.4. The most points allowed at, for quarterback was New Orleans. Um, let me see. And this is the final projection, so... The top five with Derek Carr, Aaron Rodgers, Ben, Andrew Love, Russell Wilson. Let me close this. Okay. So yeah, that's how you download the CSV five you need it. Same thing goes for running back, wide receiver. I got wide receiver one. This is what um the projected points for wide receiver one 
against the team that they're, they're facing. This is the predicted points for wide receiver two. Mm -hmm. It's different from wide receiver one. When you click on, um, let me let me fix this. Okay. Sort it out. It says Pittsburgh gives up the most. And Vandal points to um, wide receiver two, thirteen point five. So Pierre Garcon could be a good pick. He's only um how much is he like six thousand something? Let me make sure. Hmm. Six thousand three hundred. He has good value because Pittsburgh gives up the most points to a um, wide receiver too, and he's a wide receiver too. But yeah, let's just go to creating the lineup real quick. I think the best value a quarterback is gonna have to be Dak Prescott facing New York, and I like him with um. Jason Witten, he's facing the Giants. The Giants gives up the most um, bando points to um, the tight ends. So I like that combination right here. I'm not gonna give you a full lineup because I got bets with my homeboys and shit like that. <laughs> so I don't want them to see my final lineup. But these are players that I like. So mix and match and come up with your own lineup but I'm giving you players that I think has a lot of value for week one I like Todd Gurley versus San Francisco San Francisco gives up the most uh, points to running back one and uh, that's year when they played I think he put up 20 something points look 22 points against San Francisco and that's pretty good. Other running back I like. There's three running backs I like. I like Todd Gurley, number one. Or we could go. Let me go to my um. This is um what the defense gives up to the position, you know. Running back one. Here you go. Miami Dolphin gives up the most fantasy points to running back. I like Thomas Ross, but I don't know if he's going to play, so I'm not picking him this week. 49ers is going up against Todd Gurley, so I love Todd Gurley this week. Jacksonville is going up against um, Green Bay. Eddie Lacy, nah, I don't like him that much. But I do like um this guy right here. Pittsburgh, D'Angelo Williams, 7,100, not that bad. Then we had Curry, let me see. I also like Adrian Peterson because he's going to have to play a lot because Teddy Bridgewater is hurt. Who's on the running back? I like, I like, I like, I like. Oh, yeah, right here. Chicago Bears. I like Lamar Houston. I mean, Lamar Miller. <laughs> I keep calling him Lamar Houston now that he's in Houston. But <laughs> Lamar Miller, I like him versus Chicago. Chicago's kind of suck. So, those are some running backs you could get. Uh, I think this guy has a lot of value too. Um, in Kansas City, Spencer Ware, 5,400. I think he's going to get the start. Jamal Charles is not going to play. But just in case he does play, scratch him out. Wide receivers, my favorite wide receiver. It's going to be Antonio Brown facing on Washington. And my best value wide receiver has to be um, Marvin Jones Jr. 
facing um, Indianapolis that gives up the most points to wide receiver two. Let's go right here, wide receiver two. Sixteen point eight. Oh, Philadelphia gives up a lot, but who they're facing on Cleveland? Cleveland only has um Corey Coleman because Josh Gordon is out. So I think the main players in the offense for Cleveland is um Corey Coleman and um the tight end Barnage, whatever his name is. So I don't see no value for. Oh, this is wide receiver one, my bad. Wide receiver two right here. Is um Indianapolis right here. Pittsburgh and Indianapolis give up the most to um far receiver too. And that's why I like Marvin Jones because he's been killing it in preseason. And he's facing um the Colts and the Colts doesn't have um Bonte Davis playing this week. I think he's hurt, I'm not sure, but I know he's not playing. So I like Marvin Jones a lot. Look at his his price. He's only um five thousand five hundred. So we could buy a lot of good players with him. Like you could get um Todd Gurley. <coughs> um maybe Adrian Peterson. I like Kicker. I've always liked this kicker right here. And he's only 4,600. Chris Boswell. Defense. My favorite defense this week is going to be Chiefs. Just look at the points they put up. 29, 16, 8, 21, 14, 17, 5, 20. They put up a lot of points. And look at the points they put up against San Diego. They put up 14. That's a lot. And 20. So I do like Kansas City. I got the money for it. We got 7,900. And we could, um, this is another receiver I like. Uh, Keenan Allen. You could get him if you want. I don't want him to score on Kansas City, but. You could put up a lot of yards and a lot of receptions, so you could get points that way. But I'll pass on him for now. I want to try to get um Des Bryant. I really like him against um, New York. Who else? The best quarterback should be this guy right here. Um, Derek Carr facing New Orleans, but I want to get that because of the, the price, you know. Maybe next week he's not gonna be five thousand anymore. Maybe he's gonna be <laughs> seven thousand around there. So take advantage and get him week one. And let me see. What other receiver I like? Another wide receiver that has good value. And he's really cheap. It's New England's Chris Hogan. He's 4,000 something right here. You could get him. And then add um, Antonio Brown. And um, there's Brian if you want. Tight end. My favorite one is Jack T.C. Whitten, but I also like. Uh, Jared Cook, 5,300. I also like um, Kobe Fleener, 5,400. What other defense I like? I like the Rams defense because 49 don't have nobody. <laughs> so I think they might shut them down and get a lot of points for that so let me see here. I'll give you my top three quarterbacks is Dak Dak Prescott I like um, Derek Carr 
and um, RG3. Facing Philly. <coughs> <coughs> I looked it up. Philly um, gives up a lot of points to quarterback one. 20.8. That's the average of what quarterbacks put up on, on Philly. So RG3 was playing pretty good in the preseason. So you never know. You might have a good game against Philly. Those are my three favorite quarterbacks. My like, three favorite running backs, I already told you. Um, Todd Gurley. D'Angelo Williams. And um, Adrian Peterson. I also like LaShawn McCoy. 6,900 facing um, Baltimore. That Baltimore gives up a lot of points to running back ones too. Let me see. Baltimore gives up 4.8 fantasy points to running backs. And um, McCoy, let me see his value right here. He's projected to put up 13.2. His average is 13.6, facing a 12.8 defense. Not that bad. Uh, let's go um to the website. Um, tight ends. I like Jordan Reed too. But I think the best value is Jason Witten, Jared Cook, and um who's the other one? Oh yeah, Kobe Fleet. Oh yeah. What else is doing on the website? You go FanDuel top ten. This is what um the the top best players for Buffalo last year what they put up week one, they put up Sammy Watkins put up zero points, put up fifteen fantasy points, four against Miami. So yeah. If you want to go back and look at what they put up last um, last year, and you can look it up here. And this is what the defense allowed. Is it this one? My bad. Is this one right here? The defense, all right. Buffalo faced them um, in Indianapolis week one, and they put up. Um, what is it? Nine fantasy points, but they give up 19.7 to let's see, quarterback one. This is what they give up to to the, each position. Week one, they gave up 19.7 to quarterbacks. 4.1 to the running back. 12.3 to wide receiver one. 4.4 to wide receiver two. 13.6 for wide receiver three. 9.2 to tight ends, or ah, whatever. So if you want to look back at some sets from last year, go to the, um, what is it? FanDuel top players right here for 2015 and 2016 season. I guess that's it. Let me go to FanDuel real quick. And I'm going to give you... I'll give you one lineup and that's it. <laughs> I'll give you, let me see. Hello? Hello? Oh, it's closed? Yeah. Give me a second. I'm sorry, guys. I had the gate closed and someone was coming in. <laughs> um, well, let's get back to this. I'll give you this lineup right here. I got Derek Carr. I got. That's Sean McCoy. We got Lamar Miller. I forgot to tell you, Lamar Miller is another one that I like a lot. So, my top five, I'll give you top five running back is um, Gurley, Peterson, 
Um, I like McCoy. Um, D'Angelo Williams and um, the more million. So yeah. I like David Johnson, but he's expensive, and um, I don't know how he would do against um, New England. But whatever, I'll give you this lineup real quick. Let me finish it. Um, wide receiver one, Antonio Brown. And we got. Oh, I like these two red receivers right here, six thousand seven hundred. The Baldwin against um, Miami Dolphins. Dolphins suck. Um, I also like um, same value, six thousand seven hundred, and as um, Steve Smith. Tight end. We're going with um, Kobe Flina. Kicker. Boswell. And defense, Kansas City. that's it remember my I'll post it in the description the top quarterbacks I like the running backs tight end wide receivers and who I think has value so I'm out guys good luck